Welcome back everyone, today we're going to be showcasing the top 5 highest damage guns in Phantom Forces. Ammo conversions are going to be factored in of course, and I'll be mentioning secondaries too, cause, well, you know, they're a gun, so I kinda have to. The railgun will be omitted for this video since it technically isn't in the game and is only an admin weapon, so I'm not going to count it. I'm not going to be some basic YouTube shorts voiceover making you wait the entire video for him to just say the railgun, like they've done for the last three of their shorts you've watched. I'm just going to be the dude on YouTube you clicked on because you're curious and now you're sitting through me ramble on about some BS I typed out in a script on Discord and didn't take into account how long it would take to say. I do apologize for making you sit through that intro without Subway Surfers gameplay, I know it was hard. Good job. Coming in at number 5, we have the M79 Thumper with the Sponge Conversion. My absolute favorite part of Phantom Forces is where the devs take an already lethal weapon, like, you know, a freaking handheld grenade launcher, and then slap a less lethal round in it, and it makes it do a mere 800 damage? I mean, I guess it's like Batman's questionable morality, because while you don't watch them die, that doesn't mean they don't die of complications later in the hospital. Now, thanks to video game logic, coming in at only number 4 is the NTW-20 with the 20 by 110 millimeter conversion. This is quite literally the only weapon in this list that actually belongs in all reality. The South Africans saw the human body and said, what if we turned it into mist? Capable of smacking any small Kenyan child asking for a glass of water with a whole 1430 damage, this is technically a cure for world hunger, just not necessarily something you'd see in a Mr. Beast video. Now we move on to the gun that makes the absolute least sense, the Boxy Buster with Elite Darts. The only reason this doesn't make sense is because they obviously undershot the damage. I, I mean it's an elite dart. It's what they use for the explosion in Oppenheimer. That wasn't CG, that was someone having a negligent discharge with their nerf retaliator. <laughs> With a generous 1500 damage, you never have to worry about anyone calling their hits. You can just see their nuclear shadow on the floor after every shot. This is also the Phantom Forces gun that hits your wallet the hardest, being that you have to purchase the real life version in order to get the code for it in-game. Unless you're boring and bought the code on eBay or something. Why... why would you do that? Why wouldn't you want an actual nerf gun to go with it? Making slightly more sense at number 2, the can cannon loaded with a cannonball. This is absolutely what the Founding Fathers intended when writing the Second Amendment. Nothing says redneck ingenuity like taking your perfectly good AR, slapping a literal tube on the end of it, and launching the Bud Light you're protesting into the nearest blue state. Then some crazy Civil War reenactor came along and took one of their standard issue armor-piercing modular laser-guided homing beacon fully semi-automatic cannonballs and slapped that thing in there for funsies. If you were ever unlucky enough to try to shoot up a random barbecue or someone had one of these bad boys, you get to experience what 2,625 damage worth of cast iron feels like traveling through your ribcage. Definitely a 4th of July the kids wouldn't soon forget. Finally at number 1 we have what happens when communist engineers get bored. Taking one of their many outdated AA systems and cutting the barrel off, making a gun out of it, and then slapping a harpoon inside of it, the KS-23M can eliminate your entire bloodline with a GIANT 5,750 damage. Pretty sure this thing would do better against NATO armor than the T-70 is currently doing in Ukraine. Sometimes I wonder why people do certain things, like make a beautiful abomination like this, and then I remember I sit here in the dark and make videos about pixels on my rock that we taught how to think. So they probably do it out of desperation for validation, like me. I. I mean, they do it for fun. <laughs> yeah. Cut. Why did I write? Why did I write this? Why did I write the word cut in my script? Eh, who cares? Well, anyway, those were the guns with the highest damage in the game, and this time it wasn't just in my opinion, it was quote unquote facts. Please feel free to comment any ideas for future videos you may have or things you want to see. Until then, see ya.